Oh, hi. This week, we're doing another studio vlog because y'all seem to be enjoying them. And honestly, I'm just going to be a frantic mess the next couple of weeks. It's only going to get worse. The tornado's going to gain in strength <laughs> rather than walk you through a specific project, which I promise we're, we're going to get back to those. I have some ideas as far as like closet overhauls and also specific sewing things I want to share with you, but I genuinely just like cannot handle that right now. So what we are going to do is, as I mentioned, I have a couple events in September. I have an oddity market September 9th, and then Granite Con is the... 15th, 16th, and 17th of September. Lots to prep for. I know I have a really good like base inventory, so I'm letting myself just make all the fun stuff. I prepped so many bags last week and, and finished prepping them. I have 16 bigger bags. I have, I think, 45. I found, I found another one. The count last week was 44, but there are 45 dumpling pouches and then 55 keychain bags. So the update for the spray adhesive, I got some basting spray because I had a ton of foam pieces, but not like fusible fleece type interfacing that I could iron on to some of the bags that I didn't have enough for. And the basting spray worked out really well. I just put a piece of like newspaper down, sprayed the wrong side of the foam until it felt tacky. So like it didn't need a lot. I feel like I went through most of the can of the of the spray, but it did wonders. I'm so glad I did that instead of trying to use the sewing machine to baste around all these or doing it by hand or something. It would have taken days to do what I got done in like a couple hours. So I worked on that Saturday, wanted to let everything dry overnight before I started sewing anything, and then realized, right, I have all of my keychain bags prepped, which have SF-101 interfacing in those, and I didn't finish the whole pile. I still have some, like, more colorful ones that I just didn't want to mess with, like, swapping thread colors on, but I made 30 keychain bags yesterday. They were all prepped. I had picked out all the zippers the day before, and everything was was pressed, the tabs were pressed into place. So, I mean, it's between eight and 10 minutes per bag. And I was just sticking with things that I could use black thread for. So I, I was able to get through over half of that pile. I still have, what, 25 left. So I'm gonna put that on pause. This is a good base amount. If this is all I take for keychain bags to the oddity market, totally fine. I just wanted to work on those until I went to bed last night and just get done what I could get done. Today, I think, I don't know, I, I feel like I should start on the dumpling pouches because I have like none of those made. Where the other bags are this style like sling pouch. The thing is, this is made, I don't even know, like I have it listed in my Etsy shop because if someone wants it, cool. I'm really proud of the chainsaw detail I have up here, but I, I want to tweak this design a little bit more for the little Pochita face from Chainsaw Man. And then I do have four of these made, but for my display, I'm not going to have all four out at the same time, and I certainly want more than two designs. And because these are such a big feature of my setup, I want to make sure I have that section fleshed out a little more. So, I have 16 of these prepped. They take a couple hours each. Focusing on those this week, most of them are doubles. All of them can use black thread. So I think what I'm gonna do is, and by doubles I mean like two of each design. One only has one, one has three, so that evens out. But since there's 16 prepped, I think aiming to get eight done by like end of day tomorrow might be a reasonable goal to set. I'm stressed thinking about it, but I do think focusing on that will be better. Also, all the sewing I have to do for this pile, this is actually only half of the stack. The, the other ones are over there. I think getting half of these done, I would love to get all of them, obviously, but I'm trying to like prioritize what I need need for this and not just finish a pile for the sake of finishing a pile. Pick out some of these to work on and then, oh, that's what I was saying. All of the work on those needs to be done at my sewing machine, other than like notching curves, I guess I could do somewhere else. But if I remember correctly, last time I did dumpling pouches, also now that these are interfit, like 
it's so satisfying the squanch. This is all of them also. And again, I don't need to make every single one that I have where like I have four or five of certain designs so I can just do like one or two and that'll be okay. So I'm gonna guess probably at least 20 of these I would like to have done for the event. So I have this week and next week to get stuff done for the oddity market. And I do have mostly just like the Pokemon bags are the only like Granite Con specific things. Not that I can't have them at the oddity market, but those in particular can wait until afterwards where I want to make sure all the like spooky shit is ready to fly slash like this very good Ron Swanson fabric I found. That stuff is ready for the galaxy galaxy market. That's not what I meant to say. Oh, that's right. Also, like, this fabric just seems like the type of thing that you would want at an oddity market. I also have some fabric I would like to use to make some skirts, but again, I need to, I need to pace myself. I don't need every single thing I have fabric for to be made in the next two weeks. But I have this week, I have next week. Both Wednesdays, actually every Wednesday until the end of the season, I am working a farmer's market that is usually, like, six hours of my day. So I'll have like the mornings of those days to myself, but I'm obviously not gonna be able to do stuff in the afternoon. I have a doctor's appointment this week, but otherwise I think I can just focus on filming this, knocking through as much inventory building as I can and sharing the process along the way. I hope I don't have hiccups like I did last week. I feel like I didn't get any hours in here. I know I did. I know I got a bunch of stuff done. The fact I got all of this stuff prepped and got 30 goddamn keychain bags made before the end of the weekend. I know I did plenty, but I had pictured most of my days last week just being me sitting at the sewing machine hammering stuff out and that wasn't happening. So I was getting very frustrated with myself. I'm only one person. I can only get so much done in a day. And last week was not my best brain week where I am feeling very good today and I'll get as much done as I can. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to like anticipate for this week. I do have a couple errands I have to take care of just for like house stuff, groceries, taking care of a side project for my partner, but otherwise I should be able to just camp out in here for as many hours as I can manage without burning myself out. I promise I'm trying to like pace myself. I know it probably doesn't look or sound like it, but I'm putting every effort in. It's about, actually, let's do a little time check. It is 8.30 Monday morning. Ooh, and I got coffee on multiple surfaces. Make sure I clean that up before I start touching fabric. And then if I am way behind on stuff, when I'm at my ales and alterations event, obviously I'll have my sewing machine with me and I can work on smaller, more portable things like this. Maybe I'll just bring keychain bags with me. I feel like the first 45 minutes to an hour is usually when like people are getting out of work because it starts at 4 p.m. It's not like there's a mad rush of people waiting in line to give me pants to hem like as soon as I show up there. Okay, I'm gonna put on some podcasts. I got some coffee. I also have water, apparently not in here, but I'm gonna go grab some. And uh, I'll make breakfast in a little bit and I will keep you posted on how far I get today. And yeah, while I'm thinking of it, other than inventory, which I've already mapped out where everything's gonna go on my setup when I did my little test run with the new layout a couple weeks ago, I think I'm pretty much just gonna have to make new signage and then I'll be ready as far as like my display goes. I don't think there's anything else I need to mess around with. Yeah, okay. Now I'm just procrastinating. Let's get to bag making. roughly an hour later and I already have the first bag done. Also this pattern, this strap segment is actually originally a whole piece with this, but that seems like wasteful, I suppose, of the fabric. And these are completely reversible by the way. So this can like 
completely get flipped out. So all of these will be essentially two bags in one. I love this color combination. It always makes me think of Moosel from the Wuzzles. And then we get that inside there. Oh, I'm so excited. But anyways, it seemed like not a great use of the like statement fabric. And I'm a sucker for color blocking stuff, obviously, where I think this looks better than if this whole thing was this blue color. So it, for me, the strap kind of ties the outer and the inner together because they're both visible from the inside and outside. I don't know. I just really like having that as like a separate chunk and I almost forgot that that's not how the original pattern came. So yeah, one down. It's about 10.20. Yeah, 10.23. I am going to stop and make breakfast now because uh, otherwise it's going to be 4 p.m. and I'm going to feel terrible. I did almost faint yesterday because I waited, to, or sorry, Saturday. Today's Monday. I almost fainted on Saturday because I just got so caught up doing my list and, you know, time blindness is a thing I am afflicted with and it's not my favorite and I try really hard. I have alarms set. I, I have systems in place to keep myself in check because that is a difficulty I face but is still my responsibility to like overcome as best I can. So I didn't end up passing out, which is nice. Got my wits about me. That is precisely why I feel like I am a high maintenance person because I am like a able-bodied person, but I, I feel like I have so many more things I have to consider in my day-to-day -day life just to exist without losing consciousness or just being extremely ill for like a whole day. I, I feel like most people don't have to deal with this. And I know I have things going on that contribute to this, but there, there are days, you know, I can work a farmer's market and that is a pretty like physically intensive thing. I can do that on some days. And then other days, if I vacuum, I get lightheaded. <laughs> so like, it's all a balance. All right. It is quarter of six. I have finished five of the bags. That feels good. I was hoping to get through more, but I'm always, I'm five, five of these is a lot. That's okay. I also had other stuff I had to take care of and like just existing like bathroom breaks and getting more water and eating and taking bird out. I've just been tackling stuff for almost 11 hours. It's okay. It's okay to tap out now. Bert refuses to settle and that's fair. It's uh, an hour before his dinner time, give or take. I also haven't been giving him a ton of attention today. Like we've gone out and done little poke arounds around the yard in the neighborhood, but I haven't been like hanging out with him at all. So he deserves that time and I deserve to just, just chill. I'm also so tired. I slept for shit last night or I didn't sleep for shit. I slept poorly last night <laughs> and that is starting to catch up with me. So my plan is to hang out, eat, watch a show. I did finish Good Omens. Uh, and then over the weekend, my partner and I marathoned Shrinking. <sighs> so good. Like, so the writing is fucking impeccable. There are so many quotes that are going to stick with me for the rest of my life. Like, without question. It might be well suited for a lot of you, but also like no pressure to watch things. Just letting you know what I've been watching. So I don't actually know what to get into. A movie, maybe... I don't know. I gotta think about what to get started on for the next trivia topic because I'm obviously feeling like extra sensitive after no one showed up for the Doctor Who one. So I'm not sure if we should just run that one for September or if we should do different anything. If we should do like music. It would save me a lot of time just running Doctor Who for next month. Should we just do it? I was really not on board with it when it was first brought up to me was just like, hey, we'll just run it again uh, or try to run the game. I didn't actually run anything because I'm trying not to like basically promote any struck work for any of those places where like Doctor Who is through the BBC and it's not part of the SAG-AFTRA stuff. I don't, I don't know actually if wrestling falls into that, but I know doing music would be safe. I know doing A24 Studios movies would be safe. Doing a cryptid one was suggested to me and that sounds fun, but I don't know if I have enough to flesh that out and like 
make a full game with it. So I don't know. I gotta think about it some more. But anyways, this is the bag I just finished. And it's one of my favorite patterns. I mean, I picked all of my favorite patterns for all of these bags. Like I only picked fun ones. This fabric glows in the dark though. Bert is getting ready to scream at me. So I finished five. I'm gonna tap out from these for now. I will check in tomorrow and let you know what I end up getting done, even if that's nothing. Okay, good morning. It is Tuesday. Oh, I didn't take my meds yet. Hold please. All right, we are medicated. And it's somehow nine o'clock already. I got a slightly later start. I woke up at 7.45 instead of seven. Sometimes I wake up before that, but I have an alarm at seven every morning. I guess I took some time to kind of reset the shop this morning because I made a big mess in here finishing up those bags because there's just so much like trimming and stuff you have to do. So I got those five done. I have three more in the like, let's get these done pile. And then I might just, I'm gonna see how I'm feeling. I'm gonna try to knock these out before lunch and maybe start on the next few because if I have 16, I'm almost a third of the way through the pile and phrasing it that way helps. I didn't end up starting anything on those dumpling pouches because I was so tired last night that I actually ended up going to bed, got into bed at 7.30. I think I fell asleep pretty quick. I woke up at like 9.30 because Bert got me up to go outside. It took a while for me to fall asleep after that, but then I slept like pretty soundly. But yeah, I don't want to like burn myself out on any of this because I still have so much ahead of me and I wanna just like kind of let myself flit around between the different types of projects I have, but only from a very specific list. So I feel like making some of the bigger bags right now because I'm excited about the other fabrics I have. Like, look at this. How cool is this fabric? So I'll have two bags made out of this and then I have some of the smaller bags, like some keychain bags and some dumpling pouches out of that. Um, actually, maybe just one of each that was for some reason a smaller cut of fabric than the rest, even though I got half yards of everything. They didn't quite give me as much of some as others. But yeah, if I feel like working on some keychain bags, I can jump over to that. If I feel like starting on the dumpling pouches and just like going to sit somewhere, that is also fine. And then I'm, I'm chomping at the bit kind of to make some skirts. So I feel like that may be what this turns into. I want to make one for myself, but that is not the priority. Even even though it should be, I would like to wear this specific skirt I have in mind to the market I'm doing in two weeks. And honestly, I don't think they're going to take that long to put together, which is the exciting part. And also means like I won't have to charge a ton for them, which the fabric is expensive, high quality knit. And I have a few different swaths of that material, but I also got that like rainbow metallic cat fabric from last week that I would also like to turn into something, even just like one thing before the event. So we'll see. I don't know that this morning will involve any garment making, but I think uh, getting through these three bags, if I get nothing else done today, as long as I get those sorted, I'll feel, I'll feel pretty good. Now it's well past nine. Yeah, it's 918. I'm gonna shush. Ooh, ooh, I hated saying that. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to put on some Lena Norms videos to catch up on. I may listen to some podcasts because I really want to listen to Promania 500. Very much looking forward to that. And then, yeah, see where I get before lunch. I have some fruit I'm going to eat because I had a very small dinner last night and then just went to bed. So I would have normally had like some kind of follow up something, even if it was just ice cream, but I didn't. I just went to bed. So I woke up hungrier than I usually do like first thing in the morning. So fruit sewing shiny bag and then maybe some others and then I will probably make my usual breakfast for lunch because that's all I'm really craving right now. Anybody else get like stuck on foods where I am fine with eating that every day? Also it takes like five minutes or less to make where it's baked beans, breakfast sausage, bagel, Bears Beats, Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> oh and eggs. I fucking love baked beans. I haven't talked about it in a minute, but truly one of my favorite foods in the world. I, so I don't have the funds for it at the moment, but somewhere 
I want to get a tattoo of that teal color Heinz bean can. It's not going to say Heinz or anything on it, but it's kind of an iconic looking can. The non-vegetarian one. So I want to get a baked bean can that color, but have it look like Bert, and then have it say stink bean on the can instead of Heinz or something, because I think that would be a cute little, little way to honor him. Where this, the reason I will not cover this up, it is a Patronus tattoo, but before it even makes me think of anything Harry Potter related. And it's a subtle enough thing that like, I don't think it upsets other people. Me having this tattoo still visible, we're like, it'd be very expensive to cover it up. It wraps around to here. So like, also it hurt like a motherfucker <laughs> going over my, my clavicle. No, thank you. But also like, this is for Frank cause he would lay on his back and have he has such huge front paws and he just like flop them on his little tummy on his chest, I guess. And he looked like an otter that was like clamming, like smashing clams against a rock or whatever, or smashing a rock against a clam. It was very cute and I called him my little otter. So then I, I got this tattoo because of that. It also makes me think of Sarah Richard, who's my favorite artist. So it is all of those things before it really gets into Harry Potter. But listen, if it is shitty of me to not cover this up, feel free to voice that. I would like to know if I'm just being stubborn or not. Um, but yeah, it's like a Frank Memorial tattoo above anything else. Anyways, eat fruit, lean in arms, sew in a bag. We'll report back. Okay. Oh, let me turn this fan off. I am basically breaking a sweat. I got six more done. So I have one of each design officially, and then some doubles of others. I think I have three of the tarot card ones done, and three of the rainbow skulls, if I'm not mistaken. So six more today, plus the five I did yesterday. So I have five left. I think I'm gonna take a breather on those. Uh, there is part of me that just wants to like push on to the next, but. I'm kind of like itching to get back to the keychain packs and the pile of them is staring at me. So I'm gonna hang these up uh, and then pick out a couple more chain, uh, I almost said chainsaw bags. I do have a chainsaw man bag, but that's not what I'm working on right now. And then yeah, I'm gonna start with dumpling pouches after I get a couple keychains done. I don't have a specific set I'm working towards, but it would be nice to get a couple situated of some of the other colors but yeah it is too hot without this fan on but 11 in the bag and I have I have five more after this but honestly if I only show up with 11 especially because now I have some duplicates I won't be mad I have at least one of each design and that is enough okay off we go okay I did not start on keychain bags because I decided I'm gonna finish in here early. Try to do what I tried last night and like have something small to eat, go hang out with Bert, watch a movie or something, then have like proper dinner and relax and just like chill out, put my headphones on, not hunched over a sewing machine. Um, I might hand sew some things, but I mostly <laughs> wanted to test out to make sure I still knew how to make these because it's been... I think a year. Yeah, over a year since <laughs> I made any of these. And God, they're so satisfying <laughs> to put together. I need to trim the zipper down and then put some bias binding along the edges here. But uh, yeah, super fun. And like the perfect thing to do while watching a show because most of it is nipping a scissor a, nope, you nip a zipper with the scissors. And then, oh, they're such good pouches, I love them. And again, I have 44 of them. No, 45 of them. So, that's a, that's a hefty number. And especially because I'm gonna be selling them for so cheap, I think the zipper looks okay up top without 
without the top stitching. I, I think all the other ones that I've sold in person haven't had that. And if it bothers someone, they don't have to buy it. So obviously if they like how it looks, it should be good. And I'm really glad I did the foam. This is just the fusible interfacing on the inside of this bag. But most of the other ones have batting or this foam, which is gonna give even more shape. And I'm actually really looking forward to that. So where I think most of the other ones just have like either lightweight interfacing or SF-101, which I need to get more of. I keep, I don't need to right this moment. Like I can get through all of my current event prep without that, but hopefully I will profit enough off of some of these upcoming events that I can get like those kind of bulk restocks. Cause I've worked through so much vinyl. I need to get like bulk orders of vinyl. Yeah, fusible fleece. SF-101, and then I feel like there's another like basic thing I'm gonna need to restock. I have a ton of bias tape. I have a whole roll that's like 100 yards or something. It's an absolutely absurd amount, so that will be fine for the end bits here. Oh, probably zippers. I'm probably gonna have to bulk order zippers after this, but I have plenty to get done what I need to. And then the garments I have, I bought more foldover elastic, so the skirts specifically that I wanna make will be good and everything else just needs fabric. There's no hardware for it. So I think I'm in good shape. I think this is gonna be good. Bert has presented himself and is demanding snuggles. So we're gonna go hang out. This has been a very productive work day and I'm not mad about it. Even though I got a slightly later start than I'd hoped. It's almost six. Yeah, it's 5.53. And I filmed earlier, what, it was like nine, I think I remember specifically being like 918 where there's a broken part of me that's like only eight hours. God, what a slacker. I'm going to break myself that way. So I'm trying to like catch it ahead of time. Like that whole thing about you're already dehydrated if you're feeling thirsty. So just like stay ahead of it. My body doesn't feel super broken. It's like it's normal amount of pain, which I'm probably at like a two on good days and I, I feel like I'm probably at a two, maybe up to a three in a couple spots, but nothing extreme is happening. And if I tap out now, I can probably continue that. So yeah, I was gonna pin these zippers in place, but I think hand basting it, cause I have so much like shitty thread to use that I've gotten at thrift stores before. I think that'd be a good use for it. Okay, so I have multiple containers of this. I just got this big box at the thrift store and it's not like super high quality thread and there's not a lot on each spool. So like, I'm not really sure what else to do with it. This is gonna kind of be perfect. And same thing, this is like, excuse me, little man. He's trying to climb into my backpack again. And then I was given this from my dear friend, Jamie and it's nice having the variety of colors and on a bobbin. So if I'm just doing some like non-essential top stitching, like it's not messing with the structural integrity of the garment or something, if I'm using certain thread for top stitching, but like I don't want anything that's not the like Gooderman or Mettler thread being like the main core stitches because I just, I trust that thread more than anything else. This will also be easy to see and, and to pull out. So I think I'm gonna work on that. Have a little smack roll of something. Oh, I have veggie chili that I made. <gasps> it's like sweet potato, black bean, quinoa, veggie chili. And I made it a little spicy. I'll add a little sour cream on top. I don't have any cornbread to go with it. There's part of me that's debating running out to the store just to get cornbread right now. Do I need it? No. Do I want it? Yes. No, I'm just gonna eat what's in the house. There's multiple meals that I prepped for myself over the weekend. This is one of them. It'll be fine without the cornbread. I can make garlic toast or something. It'll be fine. I will check in with you in the morning after I run an errand and then I am going to the farmer's market in the afternoon. So I don't know how much I'll actually get done in here, but that is also okay. <sighs> See you tomorrow. Hi, good morning. I woke up to a very loud beeping noise and realized there was a delivery truck outside just dumping sand in the driveway, which we didn't order. <laughs> so, 
That was not my favorite way to start the day. I'm awake now. There's nothing I can do about it at this current juncture in time, so I'm just not gonna stress about it. Bert just had his breakfast. I'm gonna go make myself some coffee and some breakfast. Then I have an errand I gotta run in like an hour and a half, but it's like less than 10 minutes of a drive, so that shouldn't take too long, I hope. And then I'll have a little window of time to myself in here to just knock out a little bit of work. I also gotta like wash my face and stuff. I tried to run out to catch the truck before it drove off, but I was unsuccessful, so at least I can get my car out, which was my main concern when I realized what was happening. And uh, yeah, they didn't block me in with a pile of sand, so that's uh, that's something at least. What a weird way to wake up. <laughs> oh, also, I just put this on my to-do list for today. Last night, Tuesday night, I'd posted a reel on Instagram, which I hate how, how that's just a daily task for me, but, but worth it because Mindy of Mindy Griffith Art. Okay, yes, Mindy Griffith underscore art. Yeah, she did purchase this last night, which I wasn't expecting that. Like, I wasn't going to list this stuff till after the events I'm doing because I'll, you know, it's going to be mid-September by the time the events are over. So I feel like that's still plenty of time to do spooky selling online. Um, but this but this is the glow-in-the-dark fabric, and I absolutely love it, and it has this batik as the lining, and then I have like a Kelly green that matches pretty well to this. And then the inside pockets are also out of a batik, and I love it. I love it so very much. So yeah, I'll make sure to take a couple of photos before I pack it up. I do have stuff cut out to make another one. It has more of like a limey green, not like neon green, but limey green instead of the Kelly green one. But yeah, still have two more pieces of that fabric to make into a bag. So I guess if someone else wants the other, just let me know. I'm just very excited about this bag already finding its home. Thankfully, people have been pretty hyped about these sling bags that I've been making because I'm also very fixated on making them because they're a lot of fun and like there's just enough pieces to make it like a puzzle to put together in a fun way but not such a daunting task that it's like a whole day to make one so I don't get overwhelmed generally when I'm working on them which is nice. I let's see it's 8 45 I'm gonna make breakfast noodle around a little bit with some of those dumpling pouches before I have to go also try to figure out what is going on with the pile of sand we have in the driveway I'm sure it's gonna have to get dealt with at some point <laughs> okay today's been a lot already <laughs> the mystery sand in the driveway has been taken care of it's completely cleared out cool I ran the errand I needed to do so that's sorted and I packed up that bag for Mindy so other than doing the farmer's market this afternoon, which it is 11.50 right now. So I have about two hours before I have to head out. I'm already dressed. I just kind of keep my backpack like ready to go for events. So I don't need anything other than to eat, but I'm still full from breakfast. So good on that front for now. And there's also like incredible empanadas at the farmer's market that this uh, like Puerto Rican family does a little pop-up for. So good. But anyways, I have the other green skeleton bag cut out already and it's bothering me that I have it prepped but the one I made is already sold. That doesn't bother me. I phrased that incorrectly. I want to have it, even just for like taking pictures, display purposes, having this one done just so if I don't get to the other ones, not an issue, but I really want to have one of these at the event. And listen, if this also sells before the event, because this person just DM'd me on Instagram, which is lovely of them, because again, it, it meant I didn't have to pay a bunch of fees on Etsy to do the sale, so I appreciate it. If it does, uh, I believe this is some of the fabric I got at Joann's, so I can acquire more. That rainbow skull fabric I have, I, I can't find it anywhere and the store I bought it from, it was their last yard. That's the fabric that I made such a dramatic noise when I saw it in the quilt shop that someone came in to check on me because I was in like a separate little side room with all the spooky fabrics and someone 
check to see if I was okay because <laughs> I didn't know what the noise was. Just me being excited, it's fine. Uh, definitely wasn't embarrassed about that. You know what? I'm not embarrassed. It was unbridled joy coming out of me. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't have any more of that fabric. So I, I did what I could with it while I had it and I still have mini bags. So not the end of the world, but it's so good. It's so good. Anyways, other people also seem to like it as much as I do. So like my hope is I just won't be bringing any of these back home from that event. That'd be the dream. I'm putting that out into the universe. If I have to scramble to make more after this event because I've sold out of them all, that would be an amazing problem to have. So instead of working on the dumpling pouches like I planned to in this little window of time that I have, I'm gonna make another one of these, possibly a second one. Gonna see how I'm feeling. I could, if I hammer through right now, I could potentially knock out two of these. That seems like a good goal to set. I, I probably won't. And also it's okay if I don't finish it. If I just make headway on a second bag, that's also okay. I, I really have to try to challenge my own brain when it's like, well, if you can't finish it in one sitting, is it worth even doing? Yes, it is. Almost always. Okay, let's see what I can get up to. Two more done, baby. It's uh, about 20 minutes till I have to leave. And I got both done. That feels pretty good. And that's two less in my pile. So I have one, two, I only have three left. That's very cool. That feels very good. All right, I'm happy with that. And then I, I just have mini bags to get through and I have half of one of the piles done and that's the biggest pile, more than half too. I think, I think this will be okay. I think the time I have been putting in and prepping stuff is paying off so that current me and like the next week or two I won't be a complete nightmare of a person. It's pretty nice. All right, I'm gonna eat a quick lunch, take Bird out for a little poke around, and then hopefully it stopped raining. At least for me to set up the tent for the farmer's market. I don't care if it rains during the farmer's market, but load in, load out if it's raining is not my favorite, um, but can't control the weather. What can you do? See you either later tonight or tomorrow morning. This week is flying. Oh, hello. I almost forgot to check in this morning. I'm like a good chunk of the way into my next bag. I have this one and then two more and then I'm done this pile. And I know I will feel very good once it's done. It'll, it'll be nice. I haven't actually finished any of the dumpling pouches where I'm looking at the pile of keychain bags that I have. It's right over here. Oh, I didn't turn the actual studio lights on. Whoops. That's helpful. You might want to actually see what I'm trying to show you, but maybe not. Maybe you just have me on in the background and you're listening because I do that with studio vlog stuff. But this pile right here, um, this is all the keychain bags I have left. I think there's 25. It takes me about 10 minutes to assemble each one, start to finish, which is not that bad. The reason I, I put off doing some of these is because um, I don't want to use black thread. So I couldn't batch do it with the rest of the stuff, but there's like eight that need, I'm just gonna switch to white thread, I think. I think it'll pop really well with the colors I have. Oh, <sighs> anyway, I haven't done any of the dumpling pouches and I do need to prioritize those once I get, once I get these done. I think slash hope slash want these big bags to do well. The fact that most of the ones I've listed previously, like the, like the three or four I've put up that have been this kind of like spooky fabric, like the skulls and stuff, I, which I love. And I still have plenty more spooky fabric to use. They've sold pretty quickly. Multiple of them, like the one the other day, sold like before I even got the listing up. That feels very good. And like, I should keep going in that direction then. Like there's a very good response to it. I just don't know how they're going to do at an in-person market because I haven't done one yet. So we'll see. I, I hope, I hope it's a good response. Oh, also I got accepted to another market and I also got invited to apply to some other markets. I have a good feeling about this, this holiday season, like especially getting through November. I have no gauge for what my December is going to look like, but there's a couple of November markets. There's like a nighttime holiday downtown thing up in the state capitol and then 
that would be a lot of fun. And it's a Friday night one, and I haven't done a Friday night market. Other, I mean, I've done Fridays at Granite Con, but that's about the extent of it. So I think it'd be fun to get into stuff like that, because those are the things I'm more likely to attend as well. There's some stuff actually for January that I got asked to apply. Anyways, um, and yeah, I'm going to drink a little bit more coffee, which doesn't actually do anything, but you know, it's a nice little treat and knock out these bags. I do have a doctor's appointment today where I am gonna see a new OBGYN and I'm nervous just cause the one I had was amazing and she was pretty confident that I have endometriosis but she didn't directly diagnose me. I think cause she knew she was gonna be retiring soon. That's the vibe I got where the past couple years she's seen me, she had dropped down to just like one, one day a week was all she was working. And then that whole practice closed because like everyone kind of retired at the same time from what I can tell. But I just don't, I just, I didn't know that was happening. Yeah, like I, I saw the writing on the wall with, with the way she was interacting with me and just like essentially saying like, I can't be the person to take you on this diagnostic journey to like, confirm yes you have endo but there are a lot of factors that like make her pretty sure but it's not actually like a diagnosed thing that that I have so which doesn't mean I don't have it <laughs> as I have learned with some other things and I had her since I was 19 or 20 something like that and she's gotten me through so much stuff like because of her I'm on a medication that helps me not black out every time I have a period and I just don't have periods very often, which is helpful. But like I would miss multiple days of work because if you're unconscious, you can't do your job. So, uh, I'd just be in a heap on the floor throwing up into a Home Depot bucket for like just a casual two days every couple weeks and just completely passing out. I'm, I'm really going to miss her. I also just liked her. Like I was always her first appointment of the day because I was always on time shocking I know where early morning appointment means my whole day isn't lost because if I have an afternoon appointment like today um I'm actually doing good that I'm like taking care of some tasks that I'm procrastinating by talking but but you know it's kind of what I do so I was always her first appointment of the day but then she would like stay and talk with me for a bit because she was she was just great I I absolutely loved her but yeah she's not an option anymore so I'm gonna see a new OBGYN and if I don't like them, I can go to someone else. It's okay. I'm not forced to do this. Not that my insurance gives me a lot of options, but I hope it's a good fit. We're, but there is a high bar that this person is going to have to try to try to meet. But I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. Give them the opportunity to meet it. And yeah. All right. Back to bag making. And uh, yeah, I got to put eye drops in. My eyes are very dry. I love fall, but my allergies do kick up again, and um, that's not my favorite. I'll catch up later. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, I keep meaning to show y'all this, but it's the cutting gizmo that my fairy god Cheryl sent me. And you use it like this, when you have like a bunch of things in a row. I think it's more for quilting, but listen, it's been expediting this process. And another thing I keep forgetting to note, although part of me was like, holding off on mentioning it for exactly what happened. Um, we did hit 7,000 subscribers on here. It did then go back down. So we're, we're back below 7,000 j just by a couple. And that's what happens. It like, it fluctuates a lot, but over time it's always getting a little bit high. It's literally like one or two a week, maybe if that, honestly, um, my, my channel is not a fast growing one, but I am realizing I'm finishing the last bag. I got these two made. It's this like gold. I haven't fluffed it out or anything, but this like gold one. And then this other Ouija board and other things one. I have one more tarot card one. And then I'm, I'm caught up on these. I might have enough time before my appointment to finish this. We'll see. But I realized after this, I need to start editing this video because today's Thursday and the video going up tomorrow and I want to get at least some of it started tonight so that it doesn't go up late like it did last Friday and then also realized tomorrow is September 1st which means I need to get Patreon stuff together and I 
decided to do another zine, but I need to do the fashion sketches and need to like put the zine together, which takes a long time. I could share a time lapse if any of y'all are interested in that, but the next day and a half is just going to be me sitting at my computer and that's never as fun to watch. So I think that's going to be the end of it for me on here, which seems wild. I can't believe it's already Thursday. It's already Thursday. What a week it's been. And as always, I've been able to do all of this and share the journey and all the stuff I'm making and get to spend time making stuff that I really like and getting to learn so much. I'm afforded that window of opportunity because of everybody over on Patreon. I really appreciate the support over there. Like y'all are why I get to keep doing this even with a small channel. So thank you so fucking much. I think I might show y'all how I do my inventory for next week, but let me know if you're interested or not. And I will see you back here with another video next Friday. Thank you so much for hanging out. Oh, hell yeah. That's all of them done. That's 16 done in like two and a half days. <sighs> I know my value isn't in my productivity, but God damn it, that feels very good. I'll see you later. <laughs> Quick pro tip, if you're going to get your junk assessed, um, where wear some slip-on shoes. And uh, that's, that's from me to you. You're welcome. <laughs>